What's up, guys? Welcome to week 18 of Books Being Sick. I am Nick. We got lots of book stuff to talk about today, some polls, some book club stuff. So we're just going to dive right into it. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was these pickups that I had. I have a whole whack load of new book pickups this week. I hadn't been to the bookstore in like six or seven days, which is crazy. <laughs> crazy for me. And I was really feeling uh, I was really feeling like I needed to go book shopping. And so over on the Patreon, I made a post asking people what their favorite book of the year was so far. It was like a favorite book of the year thread. And so I got a lot of these books based off of that. It was, that post was terrible for my TBR. But I hadn't heard of some of these, and um, I'm excited about I'm excited about them. So I'll share them with you. Uh, some of these are just random ones that I saw that I uh, I thought looked good as well. So I will share those with you now. The first one up here is Jeanette Wall's The Glass Castle. This is one that I've seen on the shelf for I want to say years. That that might be over exaggerating, but I want to say years. It always the title the cover always looked intriguing to me. I read the back. It's about like a loving but very weird and quirky family and it's a memoir and it actually i don't read a lot of memoirs but this one really did sound like it's going to be up my alley so i'm excited to check out the glass castle that was my first pickup this is one of the ones that was recommended over on the patreon favorite books of the year post this is called um shantaram by gregory david roberts unfortunately the only copy i could find has that apple tv sticker on it that i can't take off that I know it's like overdone to talk about how annoying that is, but man, it is so annoying. You know, I just don't, I never want that on there. You know, the, the the next one has a sticker on it, but I don't mind this one as much. These streaming ones though, like the Netflix stickers and all that, like, ah, <laughs> I don't want it. Um, however, anyways, uh, not a clue what this one is about, but someone said it was their favorite read of the year so far. And it is beefy. This is almost 800 page. Oh, it's almost 900 pages. Um, that's a chunky book, but uh, we will we will see where that falls in the list of TBR. Now, next up, this one I just really thought this cover was uh, was pretty cool, and I th believe I've heard of this, but I couldn't tell you what it's about. This is Severance by Ling Ma. Um, this again was uh, someone else's favorite book of the year, so I picked it up. And this is what I'm talking about. This one has an unremovable sticker on it too, but it's like a book review, New York Times book review sticker. If it's a book-related badge, I'm okay with it. If it's like, it won this book prize, cool, that's fine. But the streaming the streaming stickers, eh, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. I couldn't tell you a thing about this one, guys, but I'm uh, I'm excited about that pickup. And this, I've mentioned this guy a few times, but over on the talk, Michael Kist has a great page where he, he talks about all books, but he does talk primarily about history books. And this is one that he mentioned that I had seen on the shelf before he mentioned it. And I, I did... I thought it looked interesting, and then he picked it up, and I was like, okay, all right, we're going in. This is Say Nothing, A True Story of Murder and Memory in the Nor in Northern Island by Patrick Radden Keefe. Now, this uh, this is about a, the, the, the you know, it's it's one of those things, similar to what Michael Kiss said, it's, I, I vaguely know of what happened with the IRA and all of that in Ireland, but it is very foggy in my brain. Like, I couldn't really, couldn't really properly tell you anything about it and so i'm excited to read this and hopefully get a better knowledge of what exactly happened uh during that time next up this was another patreon one this is someone's favorite book of the year this is remarkable remarkably bright creatures by shelby van pelt this cover is just so fun and i love the colors and i love how bright it is and um yeah i am excited to check this one out i don't know is this one about that octopus that is like has um is this about that octopus that is a like they they find is very smart and or is that something else? That might be a documentary. I'm thinking of. I'm, I'm not sure. Excited to check that one out. Either way, I'm only guessing that because there's an octopus on the cover. Uh, okay, this one I appreciate because this one has the dreaded streaming sticker on there, but it is removable. And if you know what, if you make it removable, I'm totally fine with it. I'm not even going to attempt that right now. But this is another Patreon favorite book of the year from someone. This is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. I've actually wanted to pick this one up for a while, so I'm glad to have an excuse to do so. I've really enjoyed Bachman's writing. I loved Beartown. I love Us Against You. Currently working my way through the winners, and I'm a very anxious person. I have a lot of anxiety issues and panic issues, so um, this book might be right up my alley, uh, as I've mentioned before. 
Um, yeah, anxious people. I'm assuming it's just about anxious people. I'm excited what he, to hear what he has to say about them because, uh, you know, I feel like I'm very well versed in the anxious people world. So uh, we'll see how accurate he is. You know what I mean? Next up, we have uh, this is the last one. I picked this one up just because it was new. And some people there were excited about it, and I wanted to be included. So I, uh, I grabbed a copy as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to take this sticker off of here. But this is a new release that came out on this past Tuesday, so April 23rd? Yesterday. Uh, Emily Henry's Funny Story. Now, Emily Henry is... I've only read Beach Read. That's by Emily Henry, right? Beach Read. I have it somewhere here. Where's Beach Read? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend that it is. Where did it go? Beach Read. Oh, Beach Read. Emily Henry, it is. Okay. All right. I have read an Emily Henry book, Beach Read, which I, 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 I totally liked. It's, it's kind of exactly what I was expecting. You know, no surprises or anything like that, but it was good. It was a good little read. And so I'm excited to read, uh, I'm, I'm excited to pick up Funny Story. I know she has had another one in between, I believe, called Happy People or Happy Place. I did not read Happy Place. I kind of saw mixed things about Happy Place, so never, uh, never picked it up. But I'm excited to uh, check this one out. I kind of like her covers. I don't know why. I know there it's kind of like the cliche romance cover sort of, but there's I don't know. I like it. It's just just very calm. <laughs> so those are some pickups. Uh some again were just random and some were because of that uh favorite book of the year thread. The Patreon has been really really fun, but again, it has been really bad for my TBR. Now, I actually need to go grab something, so give me one second. All right, I wanted to talk to you about my current read, which I just started on a whim. I, I kind of had had plans for which books I was going to read for the remainder of this month, but then this one was just staring me in the face, and I was like, man, I just keep st I keep wanting to read this book, but I just never pick it up. So I picked it up, and that is John Williams' Stoner. This, is, uh, this has been incredible so far. Really, really good. I'm 100 pages in, um, and it's it's. It is fantastic. This is we're following Williams. William Stoner is his name, and it, it's what's interesting about it is this guy is kind of just completely normal. You know, it's just like your everyday guy, and we're just following him through his his life and his journey through being a not a professor. I forget what you call it, but like a a step below a professor at this at this college university that he's uh, that he attended. You know, he's kind of just stayed there since he attended it, and. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do, once I finish this, I know I'm going to do an absolutely horrible job at selling it because it really is just about this normal guy, but there's something so captivating about it. And, and it's, it's so, re it's kind of refreshing. It's kind of refreshing that we're just following the life of this, of this pretty average guy. Um, and, uh, I really like it. And I gotta say the cover, this New York book review cover of, um, that's supposed to be William Stoner on the cover there. That is exactly how I would picture him. I feel like they crushed this image, <laughs> you know? There's there's different images of him, like, floating around on, on different releases of books, but this one, for me, is it, it just looks exactly how he was in my brain. And maybe that's because I saw the picture before I started reading it. Like, obviously, maybe that's the case, but I think they did a really, really good job. That book has been fantastic. Really been enjoying that one. Um, my plans for the rest of the month really are to finish the John Williams book and to finish the Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs because we're already at April 22nd, or sorry, 24th. So I, I only have so much time left. So I want to at least get those two done. It's been a really, really good month of reading if I can get those two done. And if I can get those two done and sneak in another one, whew, might be the best month of my life. I don't know. Maybe the best month of my life. We'll see. So... Uh, I wanted to tell you about this idea I had because I'm trying to figure out this YouTube thing still. I'm still pretty fresh to YouTube and I'm having a bit of a time because I, I love doing these weekly videos. I love doing these weekly updates where I just kind of tell you about what I've read, what I'm reading and just kind of like what's going on book related in my life. But I like releasing, I, I've been releasing two videos a month or two videos a week, sorry, on, on YouTube since I started. And the second video, the not the video that's not a weekly video, I'm starting to have a bit of a tough time figuring out what to do with those because I do so much book talk in, in these weekly videos that I almost don't really save enough for to have a second video. So my wife actually pitched this idea to me and I, I quite liked it. And I've kind of been wanting to do something like this. So I, what I'm going to try and do is for the second video of the, of the week, I'm going to do more of a vlog style video. I'm going to give it a try this week. The, the vlog video will be out probably Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. And it's just going to be kind of more day in the life, 
still oriented around books and 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 other such things, but kind of just more of a more of a vlog, more of like a come with me for my day sort of thing. So I'm going to give that a go and maybe have a vlog style video be the second video of the week paired with these weekly book videos. Um, so that is kind of my plan. Let me know what you think. If that's a terrible idea, please feel free to be like, hey, that's a terrible idea. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it a go and we'll see uh, We'll see how it goes. I was going to tell you, uh, speaking of Patreon and the book club, we have decided on the book for May. You might not be surprised at what it is. It seemed pretty obvious to me what the winner was going to be, although it did come extremely close. I was not extremely close, but but very close. Uh, so the final four options for the for May's book club were Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, The Secret History by Donna Tart, Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zauner, and The Green Mile by Stephen King. And the winner was The Secret History by Donna Tart. People have been so psyched to read this book uh, in, in the club that it's really not surprising to me that it that it got chosen. I'm really excited to read The Secret History, especially I feel like after reading this John Williams book, which is kind of an academic academia, I forget what the terminology is, uh, sort of book, and then jumping into another one in The Secret History is going to be really fun because there is just something so intriguing and um you know, energizing about those types of books. So I'm very excited for that. If you want to follow along, May's book is going to be The Secret History. If you'd like to join the book club, it is over on the page. Um, but no pressure. I'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible on how The Secret History is going here. Uh, so we also have The Drawing of the Three. So we're uh, in the book club where we are following The Dark Tower is going to be the first series. We're, we're pairing it. We're doing a series along with our monthly books. And the Dark Tower is the one that we're doing. So April was the first book, The Gunslinger, and so May is going to be The Drawing of the Three. I think a lot of people had a tough time getting through The Gunslinger, and those that did make it through are just as confused, and a, a lot of them, I think, are on the fence about continuing. I'm encouraging people to just to just jump into Drawing of the Three and really give it a fair shot, because The Drawing of the Three is where I fell in love with The Dark Tower, and... I would even say, and you guys, this might ruffle some feathers, so please, uh, if you think this is not a good suggestion, that's fine. But I was telling people to, you know, you could probably just jump into Drawing of the Three if you gave up on the Gunslinger. You know, you could probably just start at Drawing of the Three and just see how, where it takes you. I don't think that the Gunslinger is too vital to... Anyway, you know, don't 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 hurt me. But <laughs> that was kind of my recommendation. Um, and the other thing, I, uh, sorry, we're going a little long here. I can't believe I had this much to talk about. Where are we here? We're at like 13 minutes. Sorry about that. Um, the other thing I, I realized today, though, is that I haven't read a fantasy book in almost a year. It's been almost a year since I've read like a true fantasy book. And I really have an itch to read one. The last fantasy book that I read would have been Piranesi by Susanna Clarke which is one of my favorite books ever. I absolutely loved it. But I got to jump into some fantasy, and I keep meaning to read Tress of the Emerald Sea, but for some reason I keep reading the first few pages and just I keep falling out of it. So if you guys have a recommendation for maybe like maybe a non-Brandon Sanderson fantasy that you think I could jump into, and that's not to say I, like, I don't like Brandon Sanderson. Mistborn, one of my favorite trilogies ever. I love The Way of Kings. I really like Brandon Sanderson, but I feel like I'd just like to try something else, maybe to to, to sink back into the fantasy world, because it's been a long time since I've read one, and I I've got the itch. I really do want to I really do want to jump back into fantasy. So let me know if you have any recommendations for that. Um, and the only other thing I was going to mention is I I'm excited. I did a little maneuvering in my office. I don't know if you noticed. There's like a tree here now. The tree was over here, and I moved my. Uh, I'm gonna have to just move my camera. I moved my VHS TV. Can you see it? Hold on. Which, so I got my VHS here, which I'm very excited about. It was over here where I couldn't see it, but I'm so happy to have this back where uh, I can sit at my desk and like pop on some VHSs because I have really missed, I've really missed that. I, I love watching VHS movies while I'm just kind of working here. And it was, uh, it was not my life for like the last two months and I just, I, I couldn't do it. So we're back. We're back with VHS. Anyways, guys, thanks for thanks for tuning in. This has been week 18 of Books Being Sick. I have been Nick. Thank you for being here. Like and subscribe. Ah. <laughs>